In this video we're going to look at how we can both delete and clear the items from a Python dictionary while at the same time looking at keywords, functions and methods that are associated with dictionaries. This line of the computer program creates a dictionary called capitals that has within it one, two, three key value pairs which make up the items of the dictionary. On this line what you can see we're doing we're going to print the dictionary and we're going to print the length of the dictionary. Now this LEN here is an abbreviation for length and it's an example of a built-in function that will work on a dictionary object because remember this line is actually creating a dictionary object and the runtime we will see is as shown here and we can see that this is the dictionary that's been printed and this is the value 3 that's been printed because there are three items in the dictionary in other words this was responsible for this being printed and this here was responsible for this being printed which is the length of the dictionary let's now consider this program statement here and I'd like to emphasize that this particular word here DAL is an example of a key word in Python and it doesn't take much imagination to realize that it means delete and what this delete keyword is going to do it's going to delete from this dictionary the item associated with the key UK which is clearly this here so when this program statement executes this is going to be removed from the dictionary capitals but I must emphasize that this word here this keyword is neither a function or a method it is a keyword now other keywords are things like if else but this particular keyword will actually delete the entry associated with this key from the dictionary capitals now this program statement here we can see is exactly the same as the program statement we looked at here a moment ago but of course this particular statement is now going to show the dictionary after we've removed one of the items so when we execute this statement what in fact we will see at the output is as shown here and we can see indeed that the dictionary has been reduced by the removal of the UK and London key value and over here we can see this is two because now the length of the dictionary is two items now what I'd like to emphasize here is that if you count these here there's one two three four but in fact you have to realize when we talk about the length of the dictionary we're talking about how many items there are and one item is a key value pair so here we have a key value pair and here we have a key value pair so the length is two as we can see here just as an aside I'm referring to the things that are in a dictionary as an item you'll hear many people refer to these as elements so in fact this would be an element and this would be an element let's now consider this program statement here and what we can see is we have a message and this particular message is identifiable by the fact that we have dot notation here is the dot here and this side is the name of the object and in this case the object is the dictionary and on this side is the method that we're going to invoke that's part of the dictionary object so what this particular message will do it'll clear the dictionary so we can see now we're treating the dictionary as an object and what this is is an example of a method that's going to be invoked in the dictionary object and of course when we come on to this particular line we've seen this one twice in this program already and it's now going to show us what the state of the dictionary now is after we've cleared it and if we look at the runtime we can see indeed that we have this which is showing us we have an empty dictionary and this here is zero because there are no items in the dictionary 
So to summarize, we can say that we can delete an item as shown on this line using the keyword DEL. Here we can see that we have got a function that will work on the dictionary. And down here we can see that we can treat the dictionary as an object and use this method to actually clear the entire dictionary of its items. So we've seen how we can delete, how we can clear, and we've also seen that when we're dealing with a dictionary, we can use functions, methods, and the keyword DEL. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?